TRX basics, one of the first things you're gonna need to know is how to raise and lower them. If you need to raise them, you just push the buckle and then zip the tab up. You do that both sides. You want to get them, get them even, but you also got a little play because you can seesaw it a little bit and, uh, and, and get those straps even. Now, if you need to lower them, same thing. You can do it at the same time though. Push the buckle down and lower them. All right, so I'm going to show you a TRX row. You're going to lean back, then we're going to walk the feet in. The awesome thing about the TRX is your ability to decrease and increase resistance. On this movement, we want to keep body, the body straight, the butt out. You don't want to be pushing the hips forward and then finish out the movement because that takes the resistance off. Now, if you want to increase the resistance, all we do is just walk the feet in and get deeper. If you're in this position and you're getting tired, you don't have to stop. You just back the feet up and keep the movement go, going. The more upright you are, the easier that movement's going to be. Find the resistance of you and make sure you're squeezing your back on the movement, not just using your arms. Same thing in a push type movement. The further back you are to the attachment, the harder that movement's going to be. So here's what we're going to want to see here is the whole body dropping forward, hips and everything, standing on the toes. And again, if I want to make this hard, I just walk back a little bit further. Here's what you don't want to see on this movement. You don't want to see what we call booty assistance, which is weight in your heels and you just drop, keep the butt up in there and drop the hips. So stand up as tall as you need to, or get as, more up, as upright as you need to. Let that whole body fall and then push. Same thing with the tricep extension, which is another move we use a lot for the triceps. It's hands behind the head, and then we push them up in there. Notice that whole body's going forward, and I'm not using that booty assistance, which would look like this. Do not drop the hips back, let the hips drop forward. All right, leg curls on the TRX. You're gonna want these about shin height, definitely up under the knee though. Right, here's how you get them. Hold both straps, roll back, feet at the same time, push out. Now, important part of this movement is getting the hips up first. Once you have that, you're gonna put the weight in the heels, act like you're digging a hole out from under you. And the important thing is hips up still, push out slow and fast. Hips up, dig those heels on the ground. Should be lighting up those hamstrings in a major way. All right, so to get into a front plank position on the TRX, you're gonna lay on your side, both feet in, and then roll. Here's the key on any of these movements, because there's a lot of different variations we do from this position, is when you get up, do not let the back arch. You have to have the stomach in tight, and then you can go ahead and go forth with knee tucks, atomic push-ups. But on all those movements, you didn't see my back arch like this. So if you need to build the core up, you need a modification for this, we can get our feet out, we can do uh, planks, or we can go here, hold the plank in, Tap the knees on the ground when you get fatigued and when that back starts to arch and then just pop back up and just hold it as long as you can until that core gets strong enough to maintain that front plank position. Those are your TRX basics.